TRHT Truth Racial Healing Transformation Center came to be in 2017. The American Association of Colleges and Universities put out a call for uh, proposals for grants for the first 10 uh, TRHT centers that would be housed at some college or university in the United States. We applied. Lo and behold, little did we know, we would be the only community college chosen and the only Texas institution, which was really exciting for us. A few of the others were Rutgers and Duke and uh, the University of Hawaii and there were in Brown University, they were all in the same group as we were. And so that was really exciting for us. As we went on through those first two years, we got to the point where we could hire a director and we hired Dr. Kyrie Williams. I'm really passionate about just making sure that our colleges, universities, places of higher education are doing the best job to serve all students. Uh, so most of my experience these last 10 years has been um, diversity, equity, inclusion work at institutions of higher education. Really the vision is that this, the center, the TRHT Campus Center, is a convening space where we have intentional conversations, intentional learning, intentional growth and development around diversity issues. Brian Joseph is a wonderful community partner. He is an artist and a friend that I have known since the 80s. So we talked about what this center was supposed to be and what we were trying to say. And then he himself came up with the design and the story that goes with it. He calls his people the body people, bringing you delightful, entertaining experiences. My art is always about bringing people together. And that's something that I can really relate to, to this program. With this art piece, I thought about at the bottom, if you look, you see a lot of people on it, and I want the energy to come from the people. All people, just communication, getting together, they go, and it's like a wave of people back and forth, moving, and they're all happy because they're colorful, and there's a lot of energy, and in the end, it will be all diverse, all different colors, people getting together. I think it just contributes to the positive energy here. Like, I see people walk past and stop, and they're like, wait, what, what is that? And we have an open, but so many people have just came in here because they wanted to see, what, see the mural and then hear more about what the space was, was about. ACC took this planning grant to do the planning with the commitment that we were going to have a center that was part of our budget. Again, it, it's so much a part of our values and what we believe at ACC. Truth, Racial Healing and Transformation Week uh, 2022 is January 17th through the 21st. There'll be tons of events in here. Um, some of them will be live stream, uh, some of them will be uh, fully virtual, but we have a bunch of events coming up, so we're, they're open to students, faculty, staff, and community. Um, we want everyone to be a part of those discussions and that, that learning.